It may seem that the terms gene cloning, recombinant DNA technology, and genetic engineering describe the same process. But as such, to put a classification in place, gene cloning is making an exact copy without a change in the genome. Clone is a Greek word that means copying. Typically, this happened in plants by vegetative propagation, where a twig, for example, cut off from a mother plant could grow into a new plant, which is an exact copy of the mother plant. A modern biological definition of a clone is a molecule, cell, or an organism produced from an other single entity. Whereas genetic engineering is based on modifying the genome by incorporating genes from different organisms. Genetic engineering leads to recombinant DNA. Therefore, the terms recombinant DNA technology and genetic engineering are frequently interchanged. There are many ways in which GMOs may be produced, but all of these methods have these common steps. Step 1. The desired gene, that is, the gene of interest, is identified. What does that mean? It means the exact nucleotide sequence of this gene is determined. Once you know the nucleotide sequence, you can synthesize it artificially or it can be cut out from an existing chromosome. Step 2 will be to make multiple copies of the gene of interest using techniques such as polymerase chain reaction or PCR in short. Just note that step 1 and step 2 are not happening inside a living organism and our objective is to put it into a living organism. This is why we make multiple copies. Getting the gene of interest into a living organism is not a straightforward thing and has a huge risk of failure. You can think of it this way as to why males produce a lot of sperm. Because the chance of fertilization increases with increase in the number of sperm. Now that we have made multiple copies of the gene of interest, next comes step 3 where gene of interest will have to be delivered into a host organism so that it can replicate and translate the protein of choice. To accomplish this, a vector or vehicle is used. What do I mean by this? We will look at it in detail in some time. But for now, just understand that the gene of interest needs to be incorporated into a delivery vehicle which will insert it into a host. And these delivery vehicles are called vectors. Now, the vectors are inserted into the living organism so that this organism is able to express the gene of interest. Note that all of this is happening at a molecular level, which means that we are not able to see any of this with our naked eye. This effectively means that we need to have a method of screening or filtering out the organisms which do not incorporate the vector containing the gene of interest. This screening mechanism constitutes step 4. This step is crucial as our main motive is to derive the protein product of the gene of interest. Once the desired host cells are selected, the final step or step 5 will be to clone the selected cells by providing them a conducive environment where they will be able to flourish and grow so that our gene of interests get expressed. That is, the DNA is transcribed to mRNA, which is then translated into a protein that is our desired product, which can be harvested for human use.